Hey guys and welcome back to the AdMob Shift UI playlist. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can show app open ads in our Shift UI iOS application. Now, uh, in this video, we are going to do everything from the scratch, but the thing is you don't have to code everything. Instead, I will include this Word document in the description. So you can go ahead and copy and paste each pieces when needed according to the tutorial okay now we are going to get started firstly we need to create the xcode project select ios app then go next we have to select the language as shift and the interface as shift ui okay now we can define some application name such as app open nets then go next here we can select the destination folder of the project as downloads or whatever okay our project is ready now we can go ahead and open the admob go to apps.admob.com and there you will see a button to set up a new app or create a new app select the ios and select this option if your application is available on the Apple App Store, you can select uh, yes. If not, no. You can app open ads. Click add app. I'm done here. Now we can go ahead and open the add units. Then get started. We have to select the type as app open this ad format that appears when users open or switch back to your app add overlays loading a screen okay fine so select it i'm going to use that unit name as app open and the application name to make this more readable okay create the add unit now the next step is we have to click on this email implementation instructions button go to add units and you will see this button when you have your first add unit id send email okay now okay now i'm going to open the gmail.com or whatever email platform so here we got our e-kit now it will show something like this pod uh, google hyphen mobile hyphen ads sdk so what we had to do is open the terminal then you have to navigate into the project folder using the terminal to do that you can use the command cd and then go to the finder and here is the project we can drag that to here then click enter now if we check our path using the pwd here we are in the project folder okay these are project files now the next step is you have to run the command pod in it if this is not working that means the cocoa pods is not installed in your computer you have to install that also cocoa pods this one uh, yeah we can go to this one you can run this sudo gem install cocoa pods commands to install it currently it is working in my computer so i can directly run this pod init command okay now our port file is created in the project then we have to open the port file using the xcode we can say open hyphen a xcode port file capital p port file now run this it will open the port file using the xcode of course you can use any other text editor but i prefer this xcode now what we had to do uh, in this pods for application name section 
we can go ahead and paste that port uh, inside the single quotes google hyphen mobile hyphen ads hyphen sdk that we copied from the uh, admob guide here this one okay then we can save this and close now in the terminal we can run pod install or if you are already using some other libraries you can run pod install and uh, hyphen hyphen yeah what was that uh, let me check yeah repo update hyphen hyphen repo hyphen update okay that's fine here if you have opened the project already you have closed it then all you have to do just open your folder and here you will see your project name with xc workspace you have to open that if you open xcode proj it will uh, trigger some issues so this is the one that you are going to work uh, in your project now now the next step is we need the info.plist file currently we don't have that here so in this section when you go to your project name in the targets you will see this info tab click it and in the bottom you will see url types scroll that press this add button add items now if you hover into your project files here you have the info.plist file you can right click on it open as source code now go back to the admob uh, implementation guide page here you will see the complete snippet code for the info.plist file admob uh, is required to set up this one then we can paste that below of this dict tag like this and we can right click on this info file open as property list and here we have the application id so go back to admob dashboard go to app settings and this is the app id you had to copy it and replace the demo one with your one and that's it okay that's fine now in our content view is our ui so i don't want to have some preview i'm going to just comment this out and open the word document that i attach in the video description firstly we have to copy this thing okay we have to use this import google mobile ads it is compulsory and then we had to copy this struct app open ad view let's go ahead and copy it okay struct can be added to here that's fine and the next step is go to add units in the admob dashboard copy your add unit id then replace it with this one okay now the next thing is open the word document again and you should see this function update ui view controller and make coordinator function and the class coordinator you had to copy that now in the struct you have to paste those code like this okay that's fine now uh, let me see yeah expected braces 
okay now the next step is go to your content view this is the where your ui is designed okay now before calling to this app open ad view i need to show you how the app look likes okay our application is running and this is how it looks now in this v stack i'm going to call for our struct that we 